Hello students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. I am Tony Francis, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Don Bosco College, Kottayam. So this is the very first lecture on Security Analysis and Portfolio Management, which is a core paper for the MCOM Semester 3 students of University of Kerala. So the first module deals with Fundamental Analysis. So before stepping into fundamental analysis, it is necessary to know the various basic terms related to this subject. So in this session, we will deal with the meaning of security and portfolio, phases of portfolio management, introduction to fundamental analysis, meaning of fundamental analysis and intrinsic value. The two key terms related with this subject is security and portfolio. So what do you mean by a security and portfolio? A security is a certificate or other financial instrument that has monetary value and can be traded. So security is basically a certificate or it is considered as a financial instrument that has monetary value and can be traded. We can trade a financial instrument or certificate of security. There are mainly two types of securities, equity securities and debt securities. Equity securities are ownership securities that includes stock which in invested becomes shares. And the next one is debt securities which includes bonds and debentures which are Creditorship Securities The next term is Portfolio A portfolio is a group of securities held together as investment So first we discussed what is a security and now we are looking into portfolio When these group of securities held together in an investment it is known as a portfolio So a portfolio basically consists of a group of different types of securities Investors invest their funds in a portfolio of securities rather than in a single security because they are risk averse. So in order to reduce the risk of by investing in a single security, most of the investors invest in a group of securities so that the risk gets reduced automatically. So the profit in one can be balanced with the loss of the another. So this investment in a group of securities is basically known as a portfolio. So next we have the phases of portfolio management. Management of a particular portfolio is necessary because it consists of different types of securities. A portfolio includes risky securities, less risky securities, high return securities and less return securities. So it is necessary to manage all these securities in order to get a better result from the particular investment. So portfolio management is a process encompassing many activities aimed at optimizing the investment of one's fund. And this portfolio management mainly five phases can be identified in this process. And the five modules of this subject Security analysis and portfolio management is the wide description of these five phases. That is the first phase which includes security analysis, second one portfolio analysis, third one portfolio selection, portfolio revision and the last one is portfolio evaluation. So the basic strategy in security investment is to buy underpriced securities and sell overpriced securities. But the problem is that we have to identify the underpriced and overpriced security. So in security analysis, we use mainly two analysis such as fundamental analysis and technical analysis to identify these mispriced securities. And after security analysis, we have portfolio analysis in which we analyze the complete risk and return characteristics of the securities in a portfolio. And after portfolio analysis, we have portfolio selection in which we select a portfolio which gives high return with less risk. That is an 
efficient portfolio we select the efficient portfolio with the help of various theories in that particular area and after portfolio selection we have portfolio revision revision leads to the purchase of some new securities and sale of some of the existing securities from the portfolio so nammada profit loss in the basis ile nammalde illa existing securities vikkugeyo allengil vera korche existing securities illatha securities nammal porthu ninnu vaangi nammade portfolio like add cheyapidugeyum cheyum so this is mainly done because there is availability of additional funds or there is a change in risk attitude or there is any need of cash for other alternative use so it is because of these reasons why the portfolio revision is done and after the portfolio revision the last step is portfolio evaluation so portfolio evaluation is the process which is concerned with the assessing the performance of the portfolio over a selected period of time in terms of return and risk so in this step we are comparing the portfolio with the calculated amount risk and return with the actual amount of risk and return so necessary changes may be made if there is any diversification from the calculated and the actual performance of the securities so these are the five main phases of a portfolio management so now we will move on to fundamental analysis that is the basic approach in security analysis so basically an investor who would like to be rational and scientific in his investment activity has to evaluate a lot of information about the past performance and expected future performance of companies industries and the economy as a whole before taking the investment decision so an investor who is rational that is who would like to get better return from his investment will study a lot about the particular company is going to invest so this study relates to a lot of information relating to the past performance of companies and the industry in which the company is located and the economy in which the industry is working so before investing it is better to make a better study on all these areas relating to that particular company so this particular evaluation or analysis done before the investment is known as fundamental analysis and fundamental analysis insists that no one should purchase or sell a share on the basis of tips or rumors we know that most of the investors invest in stock market on the basis of tips and rumors created in stock market so fundamental analysis insists that no one should purchase or sell a, sh- a share or a security on the basis of tips or rumors it has to be completely done on the perfect evaluation of that particular security So next we will look into the meaning of fundamental analysis. A fundamental analysis is a detailed analysis of the fundamental factors affecting the performance of companies. It is really a logical and systematic approach to estimating the future dividends and share price. So nammada company's performance ne affect cheyina factors fundamental factors in the detailed analysis ne aanu nammal fundamental analysis ennu parayunnathu so oru company ide current share inde current fair value kandupidikkunnathinum adu pole thanne aa company ide future dividends um share price um estimate cheyunnathinum venditaanu nammal fundamental analysis conduct cheyunnathu fundamental analysis is a combination of economic industry and company analysis to obtain a stock's current fair value and predicts its future value so fundamental analysis nu parayunnathu moonu analysis inde or combination aanu economy analysis industry analysis and company analysis so all three analysis are done to obtain a stock's current fair value and predicts its future value so this is the basic meaning of fundamental analysis so next we have intrinsic value what do we mean by intrinsic value intrinsic value is a measure of what an asset is worth 
Each share is assumed to have an economic worth based on its present and future earning capacity. This is called its intrinsic value. It is also known as fundamental value. So fundamental analysis where we derive the value of intrinsic value. Code the specific asset in the alangal or share in the Edartha Mulitina intrinsic value in the Parainadu. So it is on the basis of this intrinsic value that we will find out the mispriced securities, that is the underpriced securities and overpriced securities. So e intrinsic value in the basis learn security vangano, vikano, and all decision like it is. Intrinsic value is also known as fundamental value. So this is the basic concept of an intrinsic value. So in this session we discussed about the basic concepts and terms relating to our subject security analysis and portfolio management and we had an introduction to fundamental analysis. Hope all are clear with the basic idea. We will continue with the same topic in the next session. Thank you.